Hi folks, this is Faith with Stone Soup Farm. Uh, this is our apple blossom walk and talk. It's a gorgeous spring day. Mm. And we wanted to take this opportunity just to take you around our farm and talk a little bit about our beautiful apple blossoms and um, some fun facts for you. So with that. So we're past the stage of silver tip at the late spring. In fact, this piece of scion right here, a clipping from the tree, it would be a little bit more open than this. But using this as a pointer, taking a look at the pink tip stage of the apple right here, or what will be the apples at these terminal ends right here of the spur. So we've got one, two, three, four, five that are gonna emerge on this. Later on, that will require thinning the apples because there'll be so many that you have to diminish some of them to get a larger crop. But past pink tip, coming over and looking at this blossom here, first you've got the arrangement of the petals, right? And then in this interior, the anthers and the stigmas, those are the male and female parts of the blossom respectively there. So the corolla is the arrangement of the petals, the anthers and the stigmas, and then that's gonna be visited by the bee. This one may have already been visited. All around this Fuji tree, there's bees busily working, pollinating the tree. Underneath this whole arrangement is the calyx. That's collectively the, the sort of leafy arrangement of the flower itself. So you've got the top and bottom parts there. As you look at the underside of an apple, in fact, in this case, I have a Fuji apple, you're gonna see the correlation there, that when it dries up this center part right here and it sheds it, its blossom petals, what you have left are the small little traces of the calyx. That's the, the leafy parts and then the dried up pieces of the anthers and uh, um, the, uh, the stigmas as well. Now, as I cut open this Fuji apple, I'm gonna separate the top from the bottom hemisphere and what you should see then is what the hepanthium, that's the interior part that becomes the fleshy substance of the apple that we eat. You have the carpels, these are the pits that house the pips or seeds, right, that are produced by the ovules in the interior of the blossom. And so we've got one, two, three, you can make it up four, five, sort of faintly. And that's where the seeds protrude from. An apple can produce as many as 10 seeds, that is, uh, at least two seeds possibly out of each carpel, each one of those chambers. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's 10 little darker spots around that center there. That's where the, the stamens used to be as well. There's generally about five um, stamens and the, um, and about, or sorry, 10 stamens and about five of the female parts of it there. So that star-shaped pattern you'd find in the center of the apple. Also too, some of the labors that we'll be conducting in the springtime is warding against um, any pests like the codling moth. Uh, the, uh, they like to burrow in and feast on those seeds there. So we're gonna try to protect those pips and all of the apples here. Um, so again, when you look at the bottom part, that's what remains from the apple. This tree is nice and busy and healthy, and uh, we should expect to get a good crop from this here.